ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் பேக் டு த சேனல் ஹோப் யூர் ஆல் டூயிங் குட் ஸோ டுடே வி ஆர் என்டரிங் இன் டு நியூ யூனிட் தட் இஸ் ஆப்டிடியூட் அண்ட் ஃபவுண்டேஷனல் சிவில் சர்வீசஸ் வேல்யூஸ் ஸோ இன் திஸ் யூனிட் வில் பி டீலிங் வித் ஆப்டிடியூட் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் அண்ட் ஃபவுண்டேஷனல் வேல்யூஸ் இன் த லேட்டர் பார்ட் ஆஃப் தி லெக்சர் ஐ மீன் யூனிட் ஸோ ஸ்டார்டிங் வித் திஸ் யூனிட் வில் லுக் இன் டு த இன்ட்ரடக்ஷன் ஆஃப் ஆப்டிடியூட் nature and characteristics of aptitude and types of aptitude in this lecture so to begin with what is aptitude what is aptitude okay see we all have aptitude in our life i mean in our body or in our capacity but the thing is we have not got tune to that or or we have not found out what is our what our aptitude is see aptitude is nothing but a natural ability to learn or acquire a new skill where it is a natural tendency for successful learning of some specific set of skills which can be further enhanced with proper knowledge and training see in other words you can also say that aptitude is a natural talent or inborn talent which can make it easier for someone to learn or do certain tasks with these we can take example of uh, cricketer virat kohli he has the innate ability to play cricket well <clears throat> ar rahman he has innate ability to compose music well pragnanda he has innate ability to play chess well so that's something which comes a person whose ability which comes at ease is something aptitude like you can easily train that skill with little practice and it comes with ease to you that is you know, called aptitude now what are the nature and characteristics of aptitude innate ability like as i said it is an inherent quality <coughs> where a person is born with the natural talent for doing something okay we can take virat kohli as an example ease of learning see people with specific aptitude can learn and master the skills in their area of talent more quickly compared to others ease of learning in the sense we can bring in the great mathematician srinivas ramanujan who even though did not have formal training in mathematics made enormous contributions to mathematical analysis number theory infinite series etc etc that's his mathematics that problem solving techniques that's something an ability for shrinivas ramanujan that's something we should know specializing talent see aptitude is often specific to certain activities or fields like focusing on particular tasks or areas of interest like A. R. Rahman's aptitude for music helps him to learn and compose amazing tunes more easily than others. That is something an aptitude, potential for excellence. An aptitude for something means there is always a potential to excel in that area, which is often beyond the average levels of skills and competence. A great example where you can uh, cite here is uh, Usain Bolt. His aptitude. aptitude towards the athletics made him the world champion in the field of athletics that's something where we can easily success if you have aptitude in that specific thing we can achieve success if we work towards that next one is improvement with practice see even though aptitude provides strong foundation mastering and improvement requires regular practice like a person with natural aptitude for painting will still need to practice their art regularly to improve the technique and express in us otherwise it's not of no use even though you have the your attitude aptitude next one is variability each person has aptitudes for different things or some might have high aptitude for logical reasoning but not for creative writing see one person is not i mean two persons are not similar so that's some that applies to the aptitude too one person might good be where might be good in writing another person might be good in singing one person might be good in music so
So that changes from person to person. That's the variability which aptitude brings in. Identification through testing. Like aptitudes can often be identified through specific tests such as like uh, which are designed to measure the potential abilities in various fields. Like uh, aptitude tests uh, which can be used in the educational settings to guide students towards subjects or careers which they are most likely to excel. These are few natures and characteristics of the aptitude. Now, okay, we have seen the nature, we have seen what is aptitude, we have seen the nature and characteristics of aptitude. Now, what are the types of aptitude? Physical aptitude, it refers to the physical and physiological fitness for efficiently performing one's duty. Uh, because uh, they need more physical fitness in their hand like it it needs more fit for uh, field work like like soldiers sport persons sports person these all people should have physical ability and that's why they are surviving next one is mental ability it refers to the qualities which has to deal with the psychological or cognitive processes and is also important for all types of services and also can be classified into general mental ability see this is this brings general mental ability brings the basic thinking capacity needed for an intellectual task a simple task and upon which the other components of aptitude depend upon if your general mental ability if you do not train your general mental ability eventually your aptitude doesn't work well so when you train your GMA your aptitude grows and when you work on your aptitude more eventually it does amazing next is appropriate value system see it is nothing but the combination of desired values like empathy objectivity impartiality etc see for a civil servant for civil services on the whole this component of aptitude is very very important for performing one job like not only efficiently but also effectively see hope you guys understood what is aptitude nature and characteristics of aptitude and the types of attitude which we deal today do watch the lecture regularly like share and subscribe the channel guys we will resume with the next lecture soon thank you